one of the things that we've found really super helpful in situations like this is to look at what we call the overall ecosystem. And, and this is something that one of the things we found is so useful is to just actually get it out there. Everybody talks about it. Um, even when we worked with companies and did design ourselves, when, uh, when we didn't formally do this, everyone would talk about the, these different stakeholders, there's these different databases, there's these different institutions, there's these different people and so forth involved. Uh, there's an aspect of making it a little more formal that gets you insights and gets you asking questions that you wouldn't otherwise ask. So an ecosystem really is a combination of just a few key elements and their connections, and you can see them in this diagram. And this particular ecosystem it almost doesn't matter you know, what particular domain it is. They always have these characteristics. So there'll be people involved. Right. So in a, in a hospital, there may be physicians, administrators, nurses, et cetera. Um, there are institutions involved, depending on the size of the ecosystem. So you may be dealing with multiple hospitals, for instance. Or you might be dealing with a hospital and a long-term care facility. And, and the hospital and the long-term care facility have to communicate with each other. And so you need to start diagramming out the relationships between this. Because anytime you're designing an experience or a product to fit within this ecosystem, you have to know, for instance, how information flows. So information flow is super critical. If you think about the hospital long-term care facility, there might be security considerations. There must, might be prescription information that needs to be transferred or medical records. Um, there may be stuff that can't be transferred. Um, there may be multiple caregivers involved. There may be the patients and, and the patient's relatives. You can imagine how complicated this system or ecosystem could get, depending on the institutions, the people, and so forth. And then within that, there are all the technologies and devices. Where is this data stored? What, this data is going to show up on what device where? Is that device a mobile um, device or is that device a desktop? Does that device have security? Can that database talk to this database? All that has to do with information flow, information security, timing of information, and that's super key to user and customer experience. I mean, we, we, we add data to systems, we extract data from systems, we gain insights from data, and understanding all those connections are important. From a business point of view, it's super important too because not only can you look at um, how does data flow, but you can look at how money flows. So who's, who's getting paid for this information flowing from here to there? Who's paying for the security? Who, how do we all, and you know, these things, that, these things exist within you know, our capitalist system. People want to make money. So how, how's the money being distributed in this system? So ecosystems are super powerful. And they can take a lot of different forms. Some of them are very small. You might look at an ecosystem of just all the, the medical personnel on a floor or something. Or you may look across institutions. But either way, it's almost impossible to, to design a good experience without an understanding of the ecosystem, the connections between them, the data flow, and, and how the devices, products, and software fit into that. And one thing you mentioned earlier, Scott, when we were talking about this, is the flower shop ecosystem you can keep in your head, yeah. pretty much. Um, complex, you know, another characteristic of a complex domain is you cannot, you know, this ecosystem gives me a headache almost, just right. thinking about all the different moving parts, and it's definitely not something you can keep in your head, which is, which is why, especially, you know, for the airline industry and for the medical industry, we tend to try and map it out. Um, and this, you know, represents sort of one um, part like gives the big picture <clears throat> for many in many examples including this one we we then end up breaking it down into different maps so it's all part of one ecosystem but then go a little deeper into each section um, of the ecosystem so just another characteristic of a of a complex um, domain but it, this becomes extremely helpful when identifying the high level design and one of the reasons we're spending so much time on on this slide and this idea is we think it's it's become for us one of the most crucial tools and it's a pragmatic tool for actually creating a great experience design and and of course getting it right too I mean you can often you have a, a, 
the knowledge within the business and and um, SMEs and other people that you can get a pretty good ecosystem. But when we find out sometimes that people's best guess at the ecosystem is in fact incorrect that we've assigned a certain role to a person, we think the information decisions flow through them, and it turns out that it's incorrect. And then again, that affects the information flow, the how you make money, and all those things that are crucial to the project and experience succeed. 